All right, today we're going to continue with telling time, uh, but at this point we're going to go to a little bit more specific because we're going to go right down to five minutes. Last time we were only talking about every 15 minutes, so 15, 30, and 45 parts of the hour. Today we're going to start talking about uh, five minutes, going right down to five minutes of the hour. Uh, lesson three, page 133 of your Math Makes Sense textbook, please. All right, so we're going to continue with looking at analog clocks. This analog clock um, we can tell is between 9 and 10, so it's 9 something. Now, it's not at a quarter hour, so we're going to have to skip count by fives um, to figure out what the minute part of this time is. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So that makes this 9, 20. We could say uh, 20 after 9, 20 past 9, or 9, 20. Either one is fine. Key part here is that you have to skip, skip count by 5 for the minutes starting from 12. Now let's take a look at this clock. Um, again, we are going to try to find out the hour. Now this one's pretty tricky because that little um, hour hand, it's hard to tell, but it's actually just before the 12, so that would make it 11. And now I have to skip count by fives all the way around. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So that would make it 11, 55. There are a couple of things you can do to make it easier to count. Rather than counting by fives all the way along, you could say, okay, well, I know this is 45, so this is 50 and 55, and count on. Or you could think about the fact that you know the entire clock is 60, and you are right now just a little bit less than 60, 5 less than 60, so 60 minus 5 would give you the 55. Regardless, they are all 11.55. Um, you could also say this as 5 minutes before 12, 5 to 12, or 11.55. On an analog clock, or sorry, a digital clock, um, it's not quite as difficult. We would look at this and we would say it's 4 o'clock, 20 minutes past 4, so 4.20. 6 o'clock, 5 minutes past 6, 6.05. Now let's practice a few. Um, press pause and try these. All right, let's take a look. Um, here we have our time between 8 and 9 for the hour clock. So I know it's 8 something, and I'm counting by 5, so there's only one 5, so 8.05 would be the time. This second one, this little hour hand, it's hard to tell, but it's a, between the 1 and 2. So it's two something. Now I'm going to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So that would make it two, 35. Taking a look at this hour hand, it's just a little bit past 11. Uh, so it's 11 something. Five, a little bit past that, so five, 10. Oops, take a look, it's actually not all the way to the 10. Um, if I look here, it's actually just going three past five, so that would make it 11.08. Taking a look at this clock, it's between two and three, so it's two something, and I would be counting by fives. And in fact, actually, I know this is 30, so I'm gonna count one more five, so that would just make it 235. Here again, it's between two and three, uh, so it's two something, and I'm going to count around by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, so it is two, 40. All right, at this point it is time for you to practice. Uh, math makes sense, page 134 to 135, numbers one, two, three, four, five, and eight. Remember, you are going to have to grab those photocopies of the clocks uh, so that you can record them on those. Make sure if you have any questions that you ask before you move on. And once you're finished this practice, mark it before you go on to the exit slip.